Hello friend, welcome in the 30 days of code in hacker rank. So today is the day 17 and today we solve the problem about more exception. So let's go to the problem. So in the day 16 we solve the problem about catch the exception but today we solve the problem about throw the exception. So for understanding this problem you simply go through the task section. I already did this task section. So to solve this problem you simply write a calculator class and inside of calculator class you simply complete a power function which takes two integer type input n and p and simply return the n to the power p and if either n or p is negative then this method must throw an exception with a message which is n and p should be non-negative. So I think you understand this problem. So I go to the sample input. So here first line the 4 is present. So that means the number of test cases t. So here the 4 line of input are taken from user. So 3 and 5 present in this first line. So 3 means n and 5 means p. So n and p 2 are positive number. So here it is written 3 to the power 5 that means 243 and in the second line the 2 and 4 present and 2 and 4 is a positive number that means it returns 16 on the output screen and in the third line it is minus 1 and minus 2 the 2 number is negative for this reason here the message is shown n and p should be non negative and for the fourth line the same output are present because the n is negative but p is positive but here the condition is present if either n or p is negative then you simply throw this message so i think you understand this problem so i simply go to my hacker rank editor and make the font bigger and for solving this problem i simply select the c++ language because here no choice to select the c language so i simply select c++ and i click in this three dot to expand this predefined boilerplate code and here also I click in this three dot so all the pre-written code are present so you simply complete the calculator class so I simply start writing my calculator class after this comment so I simply write class and then capital C calculator and inside of calculator public and then we write the function power so here the power function pass two integer type input one is n and one is p so i write int power and inside of power we take two variable one is n and another is p the two variable are integer type and inside of this function you simply check if n and p is negative or not if n is negative means less than 0 or p is negative means less than 0 then you simply throw an message and in this if condition we simply use the or because here the either n or p is negative that means if any of these two integer is negative then you simply throw this message so inside of if statement I type throw and then the runtime error and inside of this you simply type this message means int and p should be non negative so I simply copy and paste this message so that is the if condition and in the else condition that means if the n and p is positive you simply return the power that means power function and inside of this power function you simply pass two integer n and p so after that you simply put semicolon here so i think the code is done so i simply check by clicking the run code button so here the sample test case 0 is passed so i simply place the submit code and the two test cases are passed successfully 
so we got 30 points so in this problem we simply throw an exception so i think you understand this code and if you have any doubt then please comment in the comment section and please subscribe my channel press the like button if you like my video so this is for the day 17 see you in the day 18 thank you friend goodbye